What's up everyone, Steven here with Neural DSP, and today I want to talk about your choice in guitar picks. When you look at today's market, you really have no shortage of choices between sizes, shapes, and materials. But which of these aspects should you pay attention to, and which of these affect your tone the most? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to record a riff and A, B the comparison so that way you have a better understanding of what to listen for when you're searching for your perfect pick. Now going into this, pick choice is very subjective, so you may not like the same picks that I do. And that's perfectly okay, because you don't have to like the same things I do. What I want to do here is educate you on how these aspects change your tone so that way you can make the choice for yourself. So with that being said, let's dig in. Number one, pick thickness. The first variable, and I would argue probably the most important variable to your tone and playability, is the gauge or how thick your pick is. It's like a spectrum where on the one end you have the thinner picks. They tend to be a little bit brighter, a little bit more flexibility, and drag through the string just a little bit more. This can be detrimental if the pick is too thin because it actually forces you to overextend and exaggerate your right hand motion. And then on the other hand, you have the thicker picks, which are a little bit darker in tone and stiffer, which allows for much more minute control. And one more thing to consider with thinner picks is you are actually more dynamically limited. Because of the amount of flex that thinner picks have, it actually keeps you from being able to dig into the strings as much as you could with a thicker pick. With these ideas in mind, let's go ahead and listen to our first example, which is going to be our comparison between a thick, thin, and medium gauge pick. So for this first example, I have a Delrin 2.0, a Tortex 0.88, and a Fender Thin, which is about 0.48 millimeters. Fender Thin's painful. Okay. So you can really hear the transients poking out on the Tortex 88 on this particular passage. And it's surprising because the Fender Thin just has no clarity or definition at all, especially when it gets down to that low E. So one of the first things that I noticed between the Delrin 2.0 and the Tortex 0.88 is that the Delrin's uh, pick attack is not as clearly defined. That transient doesn't poke out quite like I want it to. It's not aggressive enough. Uh, and then when you get down to the Fender Thin, as I'm sure you saw on my face, the utter disgust and contempt I have for th this pick, uh, it sounds awful. And another note is that while recording this, I did end up actually breaking this pick. So thin also means fragile. So that's just one more thing to take into consideration. Number two, pick material. The next variable that I tend to think about after thickness is pick material. And pick material's role in your tone and playability is how it interacts with your strings. Some materials grip onto the strings more while others glide more freely over it. So you take this next example, which is the Ultex material versus nylon material. And nylon I find actually grips onto the string a little bit more, making a little bit more duller sound. Now for this next example, I have the Ultex Jazz 3 XL and the nylon Jazz 3 XL. So same size, same thickness, different materials. Now the difference between these two picks, it's very, very subtle. And it's gonna be subjective opinion whether you like one over the other. The Altex sounds just a tiny bit brighter to my ear and the nylon sounds a little bit warmer, but neither one sounds objectively bad. Number three, 
pick shape. I find that pick shape is probably the most subjective of these three variables. A lot of lead and metal players like the Jazz 3 or the pointed pick style because of the speed that you can manage while retaining clarity of the note choices. Or perhaps you like the triangles best because they give you a lot of leverage to push through the strings because you like having that heavy right hand. Whereas if you ask any recording engineer, generally speaking, you're gonna find that they're all gonna go for the green Tortex 88s. Okay, so for this next example, I have an Altex Triangle 0.88, a Tortex Standard Size 0.88, and a Tortex 0.88 Sharp Point. Now the tones are fairly close together, but if you listen for the pick attack, that's where the difference in the shape is going to matter. So you have the softest pick attack with the Altex triangle because it has the widest bevel. And then you have the Tortex standard has a little bit more attack. And then the Tortex 88 sharp has the most pick attack to it. But as far as what you prefer, that's gonna be your choice. So hopefully this has helped you gain a little bit more knowledge on what you're looking for when you're choosing your picks. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Please like, share, and subscribe, and hit that bell icon for notifications on when we upload our videos. Please comment down below. Let me know what you think of this video and if you want to see more content like this. And let me know which picks you preferred. As always, I'll see you in the next video.